Okay, everybody, we're working through the quadratic functions and equations review. And so what we're supposed to do here with, with this, uh, this quadratic here is we're supposed to find the vertex, axis of symmetry, domain and range, y-intercept and x-intercepts, and solve, solve algebraically here. Okay, well, this right here is in the form. This, okay, maybe we'll zoom in on this a little bit here. Okay, that is already in the form, uh, the vertex form. Uh, there's nothing going on right there. There's no adding or subtracting inside the x here. Now, sometimes that leads people to a little bit of confusion, but this is like saying x plus 0 or x minus 0 inside there being squared. So the vertex okay, is going to be the point 0, comma, positive 4. Now, as soon as you know that the vertex is 0, 4, we also know that the axis of symmetry... Okay, the axis of symmetry is going to be x equal to 0. Now, don't forget to write it as x equals 0 because it's an equation here. Uh, the domain and range, well, it's a quadratic right now, so the domain, okay, I'll just use d here, will be x is an element of the reals. Okay, it's going to be all real values. And then the next thing that we're going to look at here is the range. Okay, and if you, if you look back at the original function here, it is a quadratic that opens down. So that makes this vertex here a maximum point. So our range here will be that y is going to be less than or equal to positive 4. Okay, now I've written all that out <coughs> kind of along the top here because I'm going to need a little bit of room to do the other ones here. The y-intercept, uh, the next thing we want to solve for here, the y-intercept, will occur where x is equal to 0. And that's not such a big deal. I'm just going to make x equal to 0. But that means this whole term is going to become 0. So the y-intercept is going to be the positive 4 at the end. The x-intercept, on the other hand, this could take a little bit of, of effort here. Now, in this case, it, it's not going to take too much effort. Oops. But the x-intercept will occur where the y-coordinate, okay, the, the dependent variable, is equal to 0. So that's negative x squared plus 4. I'm going to bring the x squared term over. So x squared is equal to 4. And then to solve that, I will take the square root of both sides remembering, sorry, I'm anticipating the answer here, and so I wrote it, I wrote it down here. Uh, it's going to be plus or minus four, uh, root 4, which will end up being plus or minus 2. Don't forget about the plus or minus. We're expecting two x-intercepts here.